Hey everyone, Thornton here, and today we're going to be talking about Power World a little bit. Now, you might have noticed that the player base is down quite a bit, but that isn't the end of the game, even though a lot of people think that that is the case. They do have plans to put out a lot of new content because it isn't a live service game, but they may need to hurry up on that because it does look like it has a new competitor and it's not going to be Pokemon. We're going to go over everything you guys need to know, but without further ado, let's jump into it. The rise and fall of video games in the realm of Steam's player counts often feels like a cosmic dance of enthusiasm, curiosity, and the relentless march of time. God, I feel old. Anyways, Pal World's meteoric ascent and subsequent descent have left many wondering about the fate of this captivating game, or was it just lightning in a bottle? Yet amidst the ebb and flow of player numbers lies a story not just of the game's rise, but of the gaming industry's ever-evolving landscape, as it does look like there is a successor. To understand this, Pal World's journey began on January 19th. It's a date etched in gaming history as it surged to become Steam's second most played game ever with a staggering 2.1 million players. The gaming community buzzed with excitement. Everyone wanted to explore the expansive world filled with charming creatures that weren't Pokemon, but they, you know, pretty much were Pokemon, and that had a ton of possibilities and game mechanics borrowed from other great titles. However, as Quickly as it rose, Power World saw a dramatic decline in its player base, shedding 97% of its peak players in just over two months. But it's not a live service game, so it's not really the end of the world. And such a drop may sound alarming, but it's a pretty familiar narrative in the gaming world. If you've watched any of my other videos on the finals, you'll see that this game also has that same issue. The initial surge of players fueled by hype and curiosity inevitably wanes as the novelty of the game wears off. Power World's non-live service model also means that players aren't tethered to daily logs contributing to a decline in post-launch, but that's okay because they are going to be doing big updates. And that's why the narrative shifts from despair to anticipation. Despite the dwindling player count, developed pocket pair remains steadfast in the commitment to the game. They aren't going anywhere. A comprehensive roadmap promises exciting updates, including PvP, raid bosses, and cross-play functionality. Ensuring that Power World is going to continue to give us great content, it's just not going to be a daily update like we're used to in so many other live service games. However, while Power World undergoes its metamorphosis, struggling with massive amount of acclaim it's received, a new contender is emerging on the horizon. I believe it's pronounced Doke V, and it's developed by Pearl Abyss, and it offers a fresh take on the creature battle genre, which Pokemon should start sweating a little bit now because, man, they are getting a lot of competition. And it kind of blends elements of Pokemon and Grand Theft Auto into a captivating open world experience. It's got a vibrant world, diverse creatures, Doke Bai, and a dynamic combat mechanic. However, it's also having its issues with launching, as so many of these titles end up having. Speculation about potential delays until 2025 or 2026 has stirred uncertainty among eager fans. And while delays are disappointing, it often signifies the developer's commitment to delivering a polished and immersive gaming experience, which means that Power World probably has about a year to really get a bunch of new content set up before this game launches, which could actually impact its player numbers even more. I'll go ahead and play the trailer right here so that if you are interested in these types of games, you can see if Doke V is something that you're interested in or if you were just going to stick with Power World.
below. What are your thoughts on the future of Pal World? What do you think about this new Pokemon slash Pal World ripoff? Sorry, not ripoff, just copycat clone. And as always, if you want to see more videos on new upcoming video games, check out right here. And I cover all the news and updates. And until next time, everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.